Right, Mike, and Devin Cummins is still recovering from that crash that happened two years ago, both physically and mentally. He says he's still unable to work. Tonight, he says that the financial burden from it has become overwhelming, so he's asking for help. My life was being a paramedic. So I lost my identity. November 27th, 2022, Devin Cummings' life as a Penn Hills paramedic changed on one call. Cummings and his partner, Nicholas Theophilus, were taking a patient to the hospital when their ambulance was involved in a crash. I looked to my side and my partner was uh, bleeding from the head severely and was going into cardiac arrest. I checked him real quick, he still had a pulse, was still breathing. So at that point, I was just trying to get my equipment. 23-year-old Nicholas Theophilus did not survive, despite Cummings' attempts to save his life and the efforts of other paramedics who responded. Amazing young kid, old soul. Um, he got along with pretty much everybody, like literally everybody, any station anywhere around here. He was either involved with or knew somebody in there. Cummings says in one night, he lost his friend and partner, along with his 22-year career as a paramedic and 20 years of serving as a Turtle Creek volunteer firefighter. I would love to get back to work. Um, it, my first like eight months, that was literally my goal. Uh, I, through therapy, I finally came to the conclusion there's, it will never happen again. Left with PTSD, a traumatic brain injury, further damage to his knee, which required multiple surgeries, and a back injury. I just didn't want the recognition to come off of him. He should have been the main focus. But now Cummings is asking for help through a GoFundMe page for support as he continues to recover and lives on decreased wages due to his inability to work. It's been very much a financial struggle since the beginning, and now it's gotten to the point where I'm close to losing everything. Cummings says as soon as he is able, he hopes to rejoin the medical field in some capacity and continue pursuing a degree in education to train future paramedics. How much do you miss your job? Dramatically. <laughs> yep. And you can find the link to that GoFundMe page on this story on our WTAE app. Reporting live in Penn Hills, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.